So, we are now in chapter 2 of our lesson. So, module 2.1 is all about linear equations in one variable. So, yung mga definitions, basahin nyo na lang sa module ninyo. Total, uh, self-explanatory naman sila. I'll just be solving examples para maging basis ninyo. Okay, so number 1, we have 5x minus 8 equals 8x plus 7. So, we're going to solve for the value of x or yung unknown. Nasa module nyo yun kung bakit siya unknown. Now, in solving for the value of x, ang ginagawa ko is in-isolate ko yung mga may variables. So, nilalagay ko siya sa left side. So, kung ano man yung hinahanap natin na unknown, ilagay natin sa left side ng equation natin. So, we have 5x. We transpose 8x, positive 8x to the left side, magiging negative 8x. Mag-iiba yung sign niya. And then, equal to 7. I-transpose din natin si numerical coefficient natin into the other side. So, from negative, magiging positive 8. Then, 5x minus 8x, that is equal to negative 3x, equal to 7 plus 8, 15. Okay. So, ang goal natin, ang matira lang sa left side natin is yung unknown, which is si x lang. So, what we do is to divide both sides by negative 3 para mag-cancel out siya dyan. So that ang matitira is si x na lang. So 15 divided by negative 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. And then negative. So that is the value of your x. That is example number 1. Okay. What about example number 2? We have 2x plus 5 over 2. Minus x equal to 5x over x minus 1. So, that is now a rational expression. So, gaya ng ginawa natin sa past uh, chapter, kukunin muna natin yung LCD niya before we proceed to the operations. So, dito muna tayo sa left side. So, our LCD is 2 since wala namang LCG, LCD dyan. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, multiplied by the numerator. So, kopyahin na lang natin. 2x plus 5. And then, 2 divided by 1. May over 1 dyan. Invisible. So, 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by your numerator, which is negative x. So, that will be equal to negative 2x. And then, equal to 5x over x minus 1. Now, mag-simplify na tayo. So, pwede nang mag-cancel si 2x minus 2x. Okay? Simple math. Then, we are left with 5 over 2 is equal to 5x over x minus 1. Now, what we do next is to cross-multiply. Para hindi na siya maging fraction. Okay? So, this will be equal to 5 times x minus 1 equal to 5x multiplied by 2. And then simplify distributive property. We have 5x, 5 times negative 1, minus 5 is equal to 5x times 2, that is 10x. And now combine like terms, and then ilagay natin sa left side yung unknown. So we have 5x from positive 10x magiging negative 10x equal to Si negative 5, i-transpose natin sa right side, magiging positive 5. And then, 5x minus 10x, that is equal to negative 5x equal to 5. And then, para si x lang ang matira sa ating left side, i-divide natin both sides by negative 5. And then, magka-cancel siya, so your x will now be equal to negative 1. So, we are done with two examples. We now have example number three. Rational pa rin siya. So, x plus three 
over x minus 2 is equal to x plus 9 over x minus 1. So, ang una natin gagawin, since wala namang ELCD dito, isang term lang naman to, so i-cross multiply na lang natin siya. Agad. So, this will be equal to x plus 3 times the denominator of the second term. We have x minus 1 is equal to x plus 9 times x minus 2. Now, applying FOIL method, we have x squared minus x plus 3x minus 3 equal to FOIL method pa din. We have x squared, negative 2x, and then positive 9x minus 18. Now, we combine like terms. So, ano ba yung like terms dito? Yung mga may variables ng x. Since nag-iisa naman yung x squared natin, both sides. So, we have x squared, negative x plus 3x, that will be positive 2x, and then copy yung numerical coefficient natin, negative 3, equal to x squared, and then negative 2x plus 9x, that is positive 7x, and then copy. So, ngayon naman, um, gawin natin 0, i-equate natin to 0 yung equation natin. So, we have x squared, plus 2x minus 3. I-equate natin to 0 by transposing this uh, polynomial to the other side. So, from positive x squared, magiging negative x squared. From positive 7x, magiging negative 7x. And from negative 18, magiging positive 18. And then, equate to 0. Now, combine like terms again. So, pwede na natin i-cancel si x squared. And then, 2x minus 7x, that is equal to negative 5x. And then, negative 3 plus 18, that is positive 15, equal to 0. Okay? So, i-isolate ulit natin yung may variable na x. So, this will be equal to negative 5x equal to transpose natin si negative ay si positive 15 I should say so this will be equal to negative 15 and then divide both sides by negative 5 para matila na lang si x so your x is equal to negative 15 over negative 5 that is equal to 3 so your unknown so your the value of your x the solution to your equation is 3 so that is example number Three. Now we have example number 4. So yung number 4 natin is still rational. So 1 over x plus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 equal to x plus 5 over x squared minus 1. So, dito sa part na to, mag-LCD ulit tayo. So, like what I've taught, taught you sa last na video, sinasulat ko muna lahat ng uh, denominators niya as LCD. So, we have x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. That is x minus 1 multiplied by the numerator 1. So, let's just copy. And then x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by the denominator of your second term. That is x minus 1. So, x plus 1 multiplied by the numerator. So, plus 2 times x plus 1 equal to x plus 5 over x squared minus 1. Now, uh, I distribute na lang muna natin. So, this will be x minus 1 plus, ayan, distributive property. So, 2x plus 2 over, simplify na natin to, FOIL method, we have 
x squared minus x plus x minus 1 equal to x plus 5 over x squared minus 1. So, pwede na tayong mag-cancel or mag-combine like terms. So, dito sa numerator natin, we have x plus 2x, that is 3x, and then negative 1 plus 2, that is positive 1. Pwede na natin i-cancel yan. So, we are left with x squared minus 1 equal to x plus 5 over x squared minus 1. Okay. So, take a note of this. When we cross multiply these two terms, okay, so, magiging, ano lang, this will be equal to 3x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 equal to x plus 5 times x squared minus 1. Okay? So, from here, merong common sa kanila. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide by x squared minus 1. Okay? So, magka-cancel yan. Cancel yan. So, we are left with 3x plus 1 equal to x plus 5. So, kapag merong equal sign sa gitna and you have two fractions as equations and nagkataon or it happened na magkaparehas yung denominator nila, you can just cancel them out and you will be left with only the numerator which is the same like this. Tama. So, from here, pwede na tayong mag-isolate ng unknowns and then solve for the solution. So, we have 3x. Lagay natin sa left side yung unknown natin. So, yung positive x natin transpose to the other side magiging negative x equal to 5. And then, positive 1 transpose to the other side magiging negative 1. So, 3x minus x that is equal to 2x. 5 minus 1 that is 4. So, para maging x na lang yung matitira, to solve for x, i-divide natin both sides by 2. So, x will now be equal to 4 over 2 or 2. So, the solution for this equation is x equal to 2. So, that is example number 4. Now, let's have example number 5. We have x minus 1 over x minus 3 plus x plus 2 over x plus 4 equal to 2x squared over x squared plus x minus 12. Okay? So, gaya kanina, mag-LCT muna tayo. This will be equal to x minus 3 and x plus 4. So, x minus 3 times x plus 4 divided by x minus 3, that is equal to x plus 4. And then, multiply to the numerator. And then, plus the numerator. x minus 3 times x plus 4 divided by x plus 4, that is x minus 3. So, yun yung multiply natin sa numerator niya. And then, let us copy yung nasa right side. Okay? So, mag-foil method na tayo. So, we have x squared plus 4x minus x and then negative 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. And then, simplify na rin natin to. So, this will be equal to x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 equal to 2x squared over x squared plus x minus 12. Okay? So, let us simplify further. Magiging x squared and then 4x minus x that is equal to positive 3x and then negative 4. Now, si positive, i-distribute natin uh, to each term. So, we have positive x squared 
negative 3x plus 2x that is equal to negative x. Okay, na lang natin. This is equal to negative x. And then, i-distribute mo si positive still magiging negative. Kasi positive times negative is negative. And then, positive times negative 6, that is equal to negative 6 over, this is x squared, 4x minus 3x, that is equal to positive x minus 12. And equal to 2x squared over x squared plus x minus 12. Again, yung sinabi ko kanina, if it happened na magkaparehas yung denominator niya, pwede na natin siyang i-cancel. So, we are left with x squared plus x squared, that is equal to 2x squared. And then, positive 3x minus x, positive 2x, and then negative 4, then negative 4 minus 6, that is equal to negative 10, equal to 2x squared. So, yan na. Now, um, yung sinabi ko kanina na equate natin si 0, yung equation natin, pwede natin gawin yon. Meron pang uh, other way not equating to 0. So, yung numerical value natin, ilagay natin sa right side. Okay? Pwede rin yun. So, is ko na lang yun. So, we have 2x squared plus 2x. And then, si, since my x to, ilalagay rin natin siya sa left side. So, from positive 2x squared, magiging negative 2x squared equal to Si negative 10, i-transpose natin sa right side. So, magiging positive 10. And we can cancel this out. So, we are left with 2x equal to 10. And we divide both sides by 2. So, we are left with x. So, your x is equal to 5. So, that is the solution for equation number 5.